Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to create a fake stop motion effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is going to be a very helpful tutorial if you want to apply this effect to your videos in post in a scenario where you can't actually do stop motion because you already recorded a video. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and with that being said, let's get straight into it. So this is a super easy tutorial. Essentially, all you want to do is search up for an effect called Posterize Time. So it should be under Time, um, not the stylized one. The stylized one actually does something else. So you can see it has to do with like the color. Um, a Posterize Time essentially changes the frame rate. So right now it's at 24. This clip is actually 60 FPS. Um, so turning it down to 24 actually does change it. But the frame rate that I found that probably looks the best and most realistic is around eight. You can go lower or higher. So you can see it's a little bit choppy, but you can sort of see what's going on. If you go lower, like six, you can see the result of that. So anywhere from six to eight, in my opinion, is perfect. Any lower gets really, really choppy. You can see in this case, it doesn't really look that good. So I'm going to keep it around eight. And the last thing I'm going to show you is just some basic, very basic color grading. So you want to go to window, let me your color. And I just think this personally suits the aesthetic of this. You want to add a slight vignette, like very, very slight. Um, and you want to increase the feather so that it doesn't seem so harsh. Like if you decrease the feather, you can see what that does. So you want a very slight one. You want it to also be faded. So you want to just increase the fade just because stop motions typically have like a film look to it. And in addition, I'm actually gonna add some of my um, overlays so that the film effect is amplified. So I'm gonna add a noise and a super eight one. You can also add like a frame. These are free, you can check the description for them. So you can see there's just a bunch of texture. I'm gonna add noise as well. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a frame. So once again, you can find this in the description. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.